We present to you the feared and infamous recluse spider, known as Lorxorcelis rufescens. A creature as small as it is lethal. In previous videos, we have had the privilege of observing some peculiarities that make the recluse spider such an intriguing and formidable creature. First, we will see the astonishing ability of this tiny hunter as it faces a seemingly insurmountable challenge capturing a prey much larger than itself, such as this unfortunate worm. Every movement of its prey is carefully analyzed as it calculates each step with precision. The spider has identified the hidden danger in its prey the powerful jaws located in the worm's head, a formidable weapon that could spell its doom. But the recluse is not an ordinary hunter. Once the recluse spider has secured control over the powerful jaws of the worm, the stage is set for the climax. With incredible precision, it finds the perfect opportunity to deliver its first bite. The recluse spider does not stop and delivers two more bites to the worm. Driven by its predatory instinct, it unleashes a flurry of rapid bites, each loaded with powerful venom. However, the worm resists with unexpected strength. The venom of the Lorxorcelis, composed of powerful enzymes and toxins, rapidly breaks down the tissues of its prey, paralyzing them while their vital fluids liquefy, turning them into a feast ready to be consumed. But what would happen if the lethal recluse spider came face to face with the cunning false widow, the Stetoda? In previous videos, we have seen how these spiders use their cunning and skill to capture all kinds of prey, not letting their size or abilities intimidate them. First, the Stetoda resorted to its peculiar thanatosis, but the Lorxorcelis, in a stumble, accidentally revealed its hidden position. It knows it is face to face with a spider of its own size. The recluse approaches the Stetoda with extreme caution, trying not to trigger its defensive alarms. However, the Stetoda senses its intentions and reacts immediately. It seems that the Lord Sorcelles injected one of its legs, but the Stetoda, quick to react, used autotomy to shed it, and avoid the venom. The recluse approaches again, confidently, to check if its venom has taken effect. But it must be cautious because the web of the Stetodas is a sticky and effective trap, designed to ensnare and immobilize any prey unfortunate enough to cross its path. Despite having eaten a whole mealworm, its appetite persists, and it begins to carefully search for the other spider until it finally locates it. It realizes that the Stetoda is cornered, with no possibility of escape, and quickly tries to bring it down to deliver a final bite. The Stetoda manages to escape at full speed, but this time the recluse pursues it relentlessly until it finally achieves its goal. The venom acts quickly, reminding us that spiders are natural predators of other spiders, incorporating them into their diet without distinction. For them, it doesn't matter whether they eat a fly or another spider. But what would happen if the recluse came face to face with its natural predator, the tiny yet lethal Stetoda Triangulosa?
This small hunter, the Stetoda triangulosa, is accustomed to stalking orcs orcelies, spiders that coexist in our homes, taking advantage of the fact that both share the same habitat. A small moisture fly was introduced to test its appetite, and the lork sorcelies, without hesitating for a second, caught it instantly, thus demonstrating its voracious appetite and efficiency as a hunter. When it accidentally encountered the stetoda, the lork sorcelies decided to ignore it, as it had prey in its mouth, preferring to focus on finishing its meal first. The Stetoda shows no interest in feeding, while the Lorx Orcelis remains completely calm and composed, focused on its meal. Realizing that the other spider could pose a threat, the Stetoda began to weave its web, an effective and potentially dangerous strategy for the unsuspecting recluse. The Stetoda started wrapping the entire area with its web, aiming to keep the other spider contained and secure control over it. But the Lorx Orcelis has finished eating, and now its focus is no longer on its meal. The recluse, still hungry, tries to approach, but unlike the previous Stetoda, the Triangulosa does not flee. Instead, it firmly pushes it back, sending a clear message that it should not come any closer. It continues to test the Triangulosa's temperament, approaching cautiously, but it remains firm, not giving an inch, showing that it won't be intimidated. It soon realizes that getting too close to this spider could result in a fatal outcome, recognizing the danger posed by its small but determined opponent. Finally, the recluse decides that the wisest choice is to back off, and instead of taking a risk, it chooses to feed on one of the other spider's legs that it found on the ground. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to continue watching this content.